Recreational target shooting is a great way to get out and enjoy your national forests. Like with any recreational activity on public land, it's important that you participate in a manner that is respectful for both the environment, the resource, and uh, for the safety and protection of other forest visitors. Here on the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest, we're an urban interface national forest just outside the Seattle metro area with literally millions of visitors every year. In general, all national forest lands are open to recreational target shooting provided it's not specifically prohibited by Forest Service order. Um, we do ask that when you come out and recreationally target shoot on the National Forest that you do follow some pretty basic safety rules. For example, um, on the National Forest it is illegal to discharge a firearm within 150 yards of a residence, a building, a campsite, a developed recreation site or an occupied area, or from along across a National Forest System road or body of water. But when you're out looking for an appropriate place to shoot on the National Forest, probably the most, if not the most important thing you can do is find a spot with an appropriate backstop. And an appropriate backstop being something that's, that's going to stop all of your rounds. And there's no doubt in your mind that errant bullets are, are not going to be going beyond um, that backstop. For target placement, you want, you want your target to be below that backstop to where when you start putting rounds down range you know 100 percent for sure that all of those rounds are going to go right into that backstop and not further down range where they might compromise the safety of another forest visitor. One of the keys to staying safe out here is to have a well-established firing line. That means you want to have everybody in a clear row across the firing range because you'll probably be out here with friends, family, or other users of the forest. So make sure you all have that line, and then you want to really work together to establish hot and cold ranges. When it's time to set up your targets, talk to everybody else on the line and call the range cold. When the range is cold, everybody should have the gun set down, the action should be open, magazines removed. So the guns are cold, and nobody should handle firearms when you have a cold range. At that point, it's safe to go down range. You can set up targets, change targets, pick up trash, whatever you'd like to do down there. And when everybody is back behind your established firing line, then you can call hot range, and people can begin shooting again. Another thing I'd like to talk about is trash. This is a constant challenge in the National Forest. Please make sure that any targets that you bring can be completely cleaned up after you shoot them. Please don't bring your old TVs or other trash that's going to shatter when you shoot it. It's also a great idea to bring an extra trash bag, and if everyone can go home with one extra bag of trash in addition to your targets, we can help keep the forest clean. The Forest Service requires that everything you bring in with you, you take out with you when, you, when you're done recreating. So when you're thinking about what to use as a target, you'll want to consider things that are easily cleaned up and packed out along with you. Recently, exploding targets have become popular amongst recreational target shooters. Uh, exploding targets are illegal on the National Forest due to their potential to start wildland fires. In addition to target shooting in a manner that provides for the safety of not only yourself, but other forest visitors, it's also important that you target shoot in a manner that, that is respectful to the resource. On the National Forest, it is illegal to damage any timber, any tree, or any other natural resource. The Forest Service wants your National Forest to be here for future generations to enjoy. So when you come out to the National Forest to engage in recreational target shooting, just remember to pick a safe spot, double check your backstop, police up all your garbage, and just be respectful of other forest visitors. And, and as always, we want you to come out here and enjoy your National Forest. The National Forests are here for everyone.